Good morning, this is Heather Hoffman, and today I have a sparkly poinsettia card to share with you using the 2009, September 2019 Kit of the Month and some of the lovely new pattern papers. This is from the Rustic Winter Wishes pattern paper. And they, they ended up just coordinating so perfectly together. It was kind of fun. So I started off by stamping my image on some watercolor cardstock using some watercolor friendly ink. This is Versafine Onyx Black. It's my favorite watercolor ink. And then I've just sped up here. I'm using my Daniel Smith watercolor palette. And I'll let you just watch me watercolor here for a minute. Um, I'm just slowly filling everything in, layering on my color, and keeping it pretty simple. So I'll let the music play while I finish this watercolor. Right now that I finished watercoloring that, I set it aside to dry for a little bit, and I'm gonna go ahead and get my pattern paper for my card base prepared here. Um, I'm using, I think I mentioned before too, this is the Rustic Winter Wishes new pattern paper, and I'm also mixing it with a little bit of um, the Rustic Textiles for that wood grain paper. I trim that poinsettia pattern paper down to the size of an A2 card, and then the um, wood grain one I trim to the width of an A2 card, and then I just tore the edges to add a little bit of a rustic feel and then I kind of planned where I wanted to place it so I could still see enough of the poinsettia pattern tucked behind there as well. Alright, I'm going to fussy cut out this poinsettia, nothing too close and specific but just enough to kind of get some rough edges. I sped it up here so you can kind of see how I went around. One thing that's kind of helpful when you're doing fussy cutting, um, and it took me a long time to learn this, if you sit and look there you might notice I'm turning the paper, not my scissors. It's a lot easier to get a smooth edge if you can, uh, if you follow that um, for doing that fussy cutting. It just kind of helps smooth those edges a little better and works a little easier. All right, I layered everything up together there on my card base, and now I need a sentiment to build on there. I haven't adhered anything down yet until I I plan exactly where I want to put everything. So I stamped that big love word. I love the font on this. And it's also really easy to fussy cut out as you can see. And again, the same thing, I'm turning um, that piece that I'm cutting, not turning the scissors. All right, put that on there. And then a little secondary sentiment um, is gonna go on there as well. I grabbed just another um, little sentiment on there, heat embossing that one on a little strip of black cardstock. And then I can tuck it on there and layer everything together all at once. Um, I know I feel like I'm doing this all the time lately, but heat embossing sentiments on black cardstock is one of my one of my favorite ways to add little sentiments, and it's particularly fun on this for a little um, smaller sentiment supporting a larger word like this. All right, now just adhering everything down together. The papers go straight together, and then a little foam adhesive there behind the poinsettias, and then I just use some uh, liquid adhesive there to adhere that word on. Um, you can use any kind of, or actually, no, I didn't use liquid adhesive. I'm sorry. I just used uh, tape. I think I was going to use the liquid adhesive, and then I changed my mind. Um, so just some sturdy tape was what I put on there. So ignore me. Never mind. All right, and then final finishing touch. Once I got all that layered together, I decided it needed just a little more sparkle. So I pulled out some of my Nouveau Glitter Drops. Uh, I'm using ruby slippers here first to go on the flowers, and I always like to kind of get the flow going on a little scrap of paper or um, a little baby wipe or something like that just to make sure I don't get any bubbles and it doesn't splatter out. So for the leaves in the green, I did sunlit meadow, and then for some of the other little um, just details around the edges, I grabbed my crystal drops in sugared almond. So I just kind of sped through that process so you could kind of see where I put those and then you can see all the sparkle on that one that dried and how fun that worked out. Thanks so much for coming by today. Hope you enjoyed. Have a wonderful day.